Lo, tis a gala night within the lonesome latter years. An angel throng, be winged, be dight in veils, and drowned in tears, sit in a theater to see a play of hopes and fears, while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres. Mimes, in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly. Mere puppets, they, who come and go at the bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor wings. Invisible woe. That motley drama, <laughs> be sure, it shall not be forgot, with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not, through a circle that ever returneth into the self-same spot, and much of madness, and more of sin, and horror, the soul of the plot. But see, amid that mimic rout, a crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes, it writhes with mortal pangs. The mimes become its food. And seraphs sob at vermin fangs in human gore imbued. Out, out of the lights, out all. And over each quivering form, the curtain, a funeral pall comes down with the rush of a storm, while the angels, all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy, man, and its hero, the conqueror worm.